Whether you're the person who forgets to wear green on St. Patrick's Day and gets pinched, or the person who thinks about it all year long, this video series, running from February 1st, St. Bridget's Day, to March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, is to help you get fit on Irish history and culture. Recently, I've started to write an Irish historical fiction novel. I figured, why not share all the research that I've been doing? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeff Rosenzweig, pen name J. Rose, and I hope you enjoy the series. Dear Gwait, hello. Welcome to the second installment of Beyond Green Beer. It's kind of turning into a girls' week. Uh, we started with St. Bridget yesterday, and even though we're talking about a guy today, um, we're kind of talking about his uh, reverence for women and for the feminine. Uh, the author's name is Andrew Greeley, Chicago Irish Catholic, died in the wool. Definitely writes a great kind of murder mystery, and a lot of it has to do with um, Irish-American culture, Irish culture, and the culture of the Roman Catholic Church because he was a priest. Um, he started out as a youth minister. Um, in order to understand his kids better, uh, he started studying sociology. He ended up getting a master's and then a doctorate. He taught at the University of Chicago and uh, University of Arizona, I believe, and, um, and just wrote tons and tons of books. And the, the two series that I have read some of and really enjoy um, are the Nula Ann McGrail uh, books, the Bishop Blackie uh, series. Great stuff for, for light fiction. It can actually teach you quite a bit. So I really like Andrew Greeley. Uh, may God rest his soul. Or uh, as uh, they say in Ireland, or as they say in Gaelic, Dia Troker Ara Anam. I like the Nula Ann McGrail. Um, she's a girl from uh, the west of Ireland. And she, um, the books that I've read are Irish Gold, Irish Lace, and Irish Whiskey. I also like that Greeley has the characters from different book series meet each other. Um, Nula Ann McGrail is mentioned, and some of the side characters are mentioned in the Bishop Blackie series. One of the things, the terms that I learned from Andrew Greeley was the term fey. Uh, that is an Irish term which is kind of clairvoyant. Nula Ann McGrail's sense of being Faye is she kind of has sort of dreams and visions. She sees things uh, a lot of times from the past, and people from the past can speak to her. So that's one form. Um, one of the things that Nula Ann says um, quite a bit is, oh, not at all at all. Like if she really means it, it's not at all at all. Uh, so I use that a little bit in my book. Um, um, and also, uh, I like that she's a singer. She's, she's an Irish singer, and that kind of really pays the bills. But she also does this kind of gratis detective work because she's fey and she, because she's extremely smart. Uh, she's definitely a powerful woman in these stories. Father John Blackwood Blackie Ryan. <clears throat> um, Blackwood is his middle name. He's known as just Blackie Ryan or Bishop Blackie. <laughs> he he pretty much is Andrew Greeley. He goes around and he's he's kind of an Agatha Christie type character. He goes around the world and solves mysteries. He's not into the pomp and circumstance of being uh, a bishop. Uh, his, he wears his Chicago Bulls jacket everywhere. Uh, only on special occasions will he put on his pectoral cross. That's where I first learned about um, Bridget's cross, which is was our video yesterday. You know, he's maintaining the Irish roots there, and he's also kind of speaking out for um, empowering women. So, Father Andrew Greeley, I highly recommend him. Um, smart as a whip, you'll learn all kinds of things. Thanks for listening. Slán!